In this paper, we present a new class of imaging systems called radial imaging systems that capture a scene from multiple viewpoints within a single image. Consider a conventional camera looking through a hollow cone that is mirrored on the inside. The axis of the cone and the optical axis of the camera are coincident. The scene is captured from the camera's center of projection as well as a circular locus of virtual viewpoints. An image captured by this system looks like a donut where the scene is imaged directly by the camera in the center, while its reflection, corresponding to the virtual viewpoints, appears in the annulus. By varying the parameters of the mirror and its distance from the camera, we obtain a complete family of radial imaging systems. Notice that many configurations have multiple circular loci of virtual viewpoints due to interreflections within the mirror. To see the change in captured scene information, consider a cube with SIGGRAPH written on the top face and 2006 written over its side faces. In this configuration, we see that the top face is seen multiple times, which allows us to recover structure from a single image. When the mirror becomes cylindrical, the system becomes more suitable to recover the geometry of smaller nearby objects. Now, if we extend the cylinder, we see that the green center point on the top face is imaged by multiple circular loci of virtual viewpoints. This allows us to estimate the BRDF of that point. When the mirror becomes a flipped cone, the captured image includes five sides of the cube. This allows us to capture a texture map of the entire object. We now show several radial imaging systems and their applications. Here we see a system that uses a cylindrical mirror to capture multiple high-resolution views of a 3D texture within a single image. The captured images of the bark of a tree and a slice of bread are shown here. Since each feature is imaged at least twice along a radial line, we can apply stereo to reconstruct the textures. This approach has two benefits over conventional stereo. First, the multiple views are captured in a single image. Second, since the epipolar lines are radial, the system does not break down when features are aligned with rows or columns of the image. From these reconstructions, we can synthesize novel 3D texture samples. Here, the synthesized bark texture was wrapped around a cylinder to create a tree trunk. The trunk was then rendered under a moving point light source and inserted into an existing image. Observe how the cast shadows change as the light source is moved from left to right. Here is another example of 3D texture synthesis starting from the reconstructed bread texture. Here, too, the light source is moved from left to right. Thus, from a single image of a 3D texture, we can recover its geometry and then use that to synthesize novel 3D textures. This system uses a cylindrical mirror to capture a sample point from a large number of viewpoints in a single image by making use of interreflections within the mirror. Images of small circular patches with metallic and red satin paints, illuminated by a distant point light source, are shown here. Notice that the samples are imaged along four circles. This implies that they are observed from four circular loci of virtual viewpoints. The Oren Nyar and Torrance Sparrow models were used to respectively characterize the diffuse and specular components of the measured radiances. The fits for the red channel are shown here. Similar good fits were obtained for the other channels. We can now render objects with the computed BRDFs. Thus, from a single image, we can recover the appearance of a material. Here we see a system that uses a conical mirror to capture within an image multiple high-resolution views of large objects such as faces. Observe that each feature is imaged at least twice along a radial line, allowing us to use stereo to obtain a 3D model. Remember, we needed to take only one image to do this. This system uses a flipped cone to capture the entire texture map of a convex object, its top and all sides. A conical and a cylindrical object imaged by this system are shown here. Observe that the top of the object is seen directly by the camera, while its sides are seen via reflections by the mirror. We can now use these images as texture maps. By capturing two such images with parallax, we can recover the entire geometry of the convex object. The object was moved along the optical axis in between the two images. Observe that the epipolar lines are radial. We can now use stereo to recover the complete geometry of the object. 
To our knowledge, this is the first system that can recover the entire geometry of a convex object, its top and all sides, by capturing only two images. In summary, we have proposed a novel class of imaging systems that provide simple and convenient means to recover geometric and radiometric properties of seen objects.